PEI started in 2003, and it started as a public-private partnership. The Pacific Education Institute works with the superintendents and principals of school districts. We ask that they consider bringing students outside to learn. We help the school districts think about how they might integrate natural resources into their science. In 2016, we did a great deal of outreach and training across the state. And we've now created a demand for the work that we do. I think we're the only organization that works with educators and professional learning opportunities to give them the tools needed in order to get their students outside to learn real world science and to get them to do it in the environment where they live and to understand the, the ag or the natural resources or the environmental issues that are in their region so that they can connect with their local communities. It's adaptable to what the issues are, what their community is. We really want students to have a sense of place and to understand and look at the connections in their communities before looking at the wider world. We sometimes think of nature as out there, but it's gotta be the Mount Rainiers, it's gotta be those really iconic places where their neighborhoods can have that and seeing that joy in kids when they discover it, that's what makes us different. The most beautiful thing I see when teachers are introduced to the curriculum is the potential and possibility when they take the curriculum back to the children in the classroom. Because that's ultimately our goal. We educate the teachers so that they can educate the students and the students can be stewards of our environment. My name's Wendy Bowles and I'm the seventh grade science teacher at Olympic Middle School. The reason that we chose PEI materials is they were so well thought out. We could pick and choose and really tailor it to what we needed to do. There's just a wide range of materials for classroom teachers to use and they're very well designed. Teachers really feel that their teaching is revitalized, they feel inspired their students are motivated. I do hear teachers saying that this is uh, something that they've been wanting to do, they just weren't sure how to integrate it into what they do already, and um, I think we make it easy for them to do that. When I get to visit a teacher who's gone through our trainings and has incorporated this into their work, and then I get invited to come see when they're actually implementing it with their students, and they're out in the fields and they're collecting data, or the kids are out in the stream and they're looking for macroinvertebrates, that's to me the full circle because that's the part that I loved when I was a student and it's the part I loved doing when I was an informal educator. And the teachers just love how their students behave when they're out there and how their excitement comes back to the classroom. They were just so excited digging up these little freshwater critters that were telling them something about the pollution level in that stream which they've fished in and swam in and hiked on, it tells them that this is good for our community that we're keeping track of this. And so I think when education is connected to something real in kids' lives, they just take it in so much more deeply than just on the surface in the classroom. The most rewarding piece for me is to take the curriculum that we co-design with PEI's partnership and help and actually watch it being implemented with children in the classroom. I've had the opportunity to go on field experiences that I helped to design, but until you actually see them come to life through the eyes of the children and through the knowledge that the students acquire from the experiences, that's what makes it worthwhile. 